Hi there, so in this video we are going to discuss decision tree in R. So let's start with question of what is decision tree. So decision tree is a graph to represent choices and their respective results in form of tree. So for example, let's say you want to ha have two options for a question such as do you want to purchase a bike? The answer will be yes or no and based on yes you will have multiple questions similarly if you have answer as no then you have multiple questions this sort of representation of your data goes under decision tree the nodes in that graph will represent event or choice that happens and the edges of graph represent decision rules and condition okay so basically such tree type of formation will so that's what we are going to look in our current program okay so for this we will take one example and see how to create a decision tree in our R program so here we are going to make use of package known as party so inside your RGUI or R studio you need to install that package named party okay so we will use that in our current code we can also use install.packages and point party package there so first thing create R script okay now the first thing we will call for library party inside that we have one reading skills data and from that we will get the data of native speaker their age shoe size and their score okay we are also going to set working directory to D drive where I want this PNG file to be stored next thing we will use input dot data as our data frame and then call for reading skills data set that we will get our data from 1 to 105th row okay and then we will export our file with method png call for file in D drive as decision tree dot png the next thing I want output dot data to be called using C tree this method will call for the data related to native speaker so we make use of that native speaker and we use tilde then age plus shoe Sides, then plus score okay now next thing to do here is to call for data equals to our input data okay so I'm gonna call for input data and we have these two parameters added into our tree so that we get that plot with plot method and we're going to call output dot data finally we have to store this so we use dev dot off okay so that completes our program you can either save this or you can just execute the line from top to bottom in one go or execute one line at a time Okay, so I'm going to execute one line at a time and we're going to see that our package is being loaded. Next thing we're going to set our working directory. Then we want to check for reading skills data. Then we're going to set our PNG file. Then we are going to work on our output data which contains native speaker data and the input data that we got from reading skills 
then we are going to call for plot method here with this data and finally we are going to store that PNG file and it will return with null device 1 that means our file is stored and we can now check that so here's my decision tree dot png file and as you can see we got our data for decision tree so as you can see it shows you the nodes and the respective choices based on the data provided so this was a bit complex representation of decision tree but you get the idea of how this graph is formed based on choices and their respective results so this was a short video on how to create a decision tree in our programming language